When he graduated with a master's in economics, he was hired at a small think tank in New York. They had a 401k, and he began to make regular contributions. But even in a relatively good market, he began to sense that something else was wrong. I have a 401k. I save in it. It hasn't seemed to go up. It's awful. I kept checking the statement. I'd be like, why does this thing never go up? This is weird. I mean, the stock market I knew was up and down, but I was like, I still should be seeing some returns. Hilton Smith decided to make a research project out of the subject. He began by looking at the investment options inside his 401k plan, 22 funds in all. You know, you and let me say this shit real quick about the stock market. It's not that goddamn hard to be in the stock market, to play the stocks. Okay, a broker is nothing but a salesperson who's a middleman that allows you to buy the goddamn stock and he's going to take a fee. You have money managers, typically, that want to sit here and manage your fund or manage uh, a portfolio or whatever of money that you allow them to, you give them in order to make decisions on where to put that money and they're going to take a fee as well. But regardless of that, just the stock market in general is just basically looking for a company that you think is going to rise and putting money into that company. And when that company rises, so will your bread. It's not that hard. You don't need no special courses or fucking people want to sell you all this shit all the time on how to invest and this and that and day trading. Day trading ain't nothing but the same thing, but you just, tra you day trading is just taking the same stock. You bought it, you think that, in a sense, but you're taking a stock that you're gonna buy. You hopefully buy it low, and you're hopefully gonna trade it, but at the end of the day, at a higher number, or you're gonna probably have a portfolio of stocks, and you're always buying them and selling them on a daily basis. Tomorrow you're gonna sell the ones that are high, if you, especially if you think they're gonna fall at some point in time. But really, you don't wanna do day trading, because that's just, that's an everyday thing. You wanna do long-term trading. And long-term trading is just putting your money in. If I put my, I think Apple's going to do great. So I put my money in Apple, and when it does great, maybe I'll do great. If it sucks, maybe then I'll suck. But, you know, my money will go down. But it's really that simple. I don't have any money in any stocks because I, I, I don't believe in it. Not that I don't believe it. I take that back. I do believe in it <coughs> because what do people do with their stocks? They take that money, and then they use that to invest in things into the company in order to try to generate more income and profits to be able to pay out dividends to their people over time. So basically... When you take your money and you give it to them, if they can make more money with it, then they'll go ahead and give you a slice. And that's all you're doing in the stock market. Finding you a company, hopefully put some money into them, and they're hopefully going to give you a slice of that bread. And then you own a piece of that company, and you can sell that stock later, you know, if you just want to get some of your money back. And plus, it might grow over time. So it's not hard. It's like finding companies that you think, you know, like, for me, if I'm kind of a nerd, so I stay up on electronics. So, like, when Tesla says that announced that they were going to open up a new factory in China and shit, which is now open and shit. But, you know, at that point, and he started talking about opening up more factories and more factories. Then, to me, yeah, you can, your average Joe would be like, okay, I need to invest in a Tesla stock, right? Your more informed person is going to be like, I need to invest in components and resources that the Tesla is going to need in order to make its cars. What did I mean by that? If you knew who the battery manufacturer was for Tesla, right right now it might be Tesla, but let's say there's a battery manufacturer that makes all their batteries. But if they just announced that they're going to open up a new, you know, um, factory in overseas, then obviously I'm going to expect that they're going to buy a whole lot more batteries. Now, whether or not they sell those batteries, whether or not they sell those cars is going to be determined on them. That is by having a Tesla stock, if they sell the cars greatly, then I'll get some bread off of that. But if I have the stock on the person that sold them the batteries, whether or not, whether or not they sell the motherfucking cars, if they buy a shit ton of batteries and got cars just sitting on the lot, I got money off the company who makes the batteries. You know what I mean? So, you know, you might find the people who make the fabrics for them or who, make, you know, and, and not, not all of them might be publicly exchanged like that, too. So, you know, it's, it's, it, it takes some time to just think about and find companies and try to find good opportunities to, pay, to, to buy stocks in. But for the most part, 
that's what the stock market is. Buy the shit. When it's, and hopefully it's low. You know, when they say about that, hopefully you can buy it for a dollar and hopefully maybe tomorrow, you know, in, in a year or two, it's worth $300 per share. And, and you know, that kind of can help, you know, that would definitely mean that you're, you're doing good, you're growing your money. But that's really what the stock market is. You know, it's just, with the reason why I say I don't believe in it, which I do believe in it, but I believe in, I believe more in investing into businesses, period. Not, I like the idea of the stock market because I do like the idea of a public exchange where all your information has to be out there. So when people invest into your company, they get to see all the financials and stuff like that or whatever. But, um, but also, but like I said, all the companies aren't on the public exchange. So, you know, it, I, I'd, me personally, I'd rather invest in like Joe Schmo's auto shop that I might know, you know, me and Joe's cool, he's about to open up auto shop. One, I feel like I'm doing a friend a favor instead of a corporation a favor. And two, you know, I might be able to get a larger return just depending on what kind of agreement we set up, you know, versus uh, starting off with a stock that is devalued very much so because you have to buy tons of the shares uh, in order to get any kind of good return. With Joe Schmo shop, he might be like, man, look, man, if you could just give me, I just need some money to get a lift, or this or that or whatever, and and, I, and that's what's gonna make me. I, I'm willing to give you 15 percent of the company revenue over five years if you do that. Well, then that's cool. You know what I'm saying? Now, maybe he may not make any money. Maybe he might lose. Maybe he's a, a horrible business person and he can't get customers. Well, I mean, I'm gonna take a loss. But you're going to take a loss. You're going to have some risk one way or the other. I'd rather risk and help a friend. Of course, you know, that could put some strain on a friendship. So, you know, versus stock market. But think about it. Start thinking about your friends like the stock market. If, if he loses, let it go. If, you, if you're not going to go fucking beat up the stock market people, you know, because your shit got lost, then you need to let Joe Schmo get over it. You know what I'm saying? Get over it with Joe Schmo. I mean, you know, not let him get over it, but get over it with get Joe Schmo as well. You know, don't don't take it so far. You know, there's risk involved. You deal with those risks and you, you're gonna, but you also have a way, now you have a little bit personal help or you have personal interest and maybe a per, you could be a personal help to them. Like you can't go to these stock market management, whatever is it, Companies that's in these index funds and shit, and be like, "Hey, I see y'all y'all going down. What can I do to help?" You know what I'm saying? I got some good ideas. They're gonna be like, "Nigga, get your motherfucking ass out this office, unless you're a majority shareholder." But you know, you, Mr. Joe Schmo's Auto Shop that you just helped, business start going down there. You can help with maybe some advertisement dollars or some, you know. Whatever, different options and stuff that you can give them instead of just sitting back and just refreshing your screen, hopefully hoping that things are going to go up. So that was a lot to say. Got all these names and the names tell you nothing. It's a balance.